Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. It's taken a bit of time for the silver proof coins in the Queen Elizabeth II memorial set to arrive, but with most of them now in hand, I thought we'd take a look at them today. We start with the 50 pence coin. This coin uses the artwork created for the late Queen's coronation crown with four quarters of the royal arms representing England, Scotland and Northern Ireland with the three lions, lion rampant and harp. Now Wales isn't included in the royal arms as when it was first created, Wales was deemed to be an integral part of the Kingdom of England. Wales is represented though with the four national flowers of the constituent parts of the UK though. You can see the leak for Wales which appears at the bottom, the thistle of Scotland to the left, the rose of England to the top, and to the right the shamrock of Northern Ireland. The design was created by Edgar Fuller and Cecil Thomas as I said for the Queen's coronation crown but was also reused for the crown coin to mark the British exhibition in 1960. There is a bit of fake news going around about this coin though with some claiming that the coin is undated. Now if you look to the leak at the bottom of the design either side you can see the year 2022 on it. Now on the obverse or head side of the coin, you can see it bears the portrait of our new king, King Charles III. This was designed by Martin Jennings, a first time designer for coinage with quite the responsibility for creating the first portrait of a new monarch for the obverse of our coins in 70 years. Although his previous expertise don't lie within the realms of coin design, he is a very accomplished sculptor in his own rights. Initially, it might seem a bit strange to see a new portrait on our coins, given that many of us have only ever known Queen Elizabeth II as our monarch, but given time, it will be a sight we will all become very familiar with. The coin was produced in a number of standards, with a cupro nickel brilliant uncirculated or BU coin with an unlimited mintage up to demand. There is also a silver proof 50p, a silver proof PA foot, which is the same as a silver proof coin, but it's double the thickness and gives you extra silver in the coin. The 50p also has a gold proof and gold PA foot proof release too, as well as a platinum proof version, but those ones were still waiting to arrive. The five pound coin saw two new portraits of the late queen designed by prolific coin designer John Bergdahl to show the progression of her reign with a youthful portrait of the young queen early into her reign to the left and to the right a more mature and experienced depiction of her. To the top of the design we see Elizabeth Regina or Queen Elizabeth and to the bottom the years of her birth and death. Within the design you can also see the late Queen's cipher which is a monogram of the reigning monarch. You'll see this all over the place from post boxes, government buildings to royal documents. The cipher of King Charles III was revealed earlier in the year back in September and will gradually begin and will gradually begin to replace that of his late mother's over time. Again on the obverse we see the portrait of King Charles III, although larger on this coin which allows us to enjoy the work even more. The coin was again released in Cupra Nickel BU Standard, Silver Proof, Silver PA Foot, Gold Proof and Platinum Proof as well. The third and final coin of this set is this one. It is again the work of John Bergdahl. We can see another portrait which was newly created for this coin, again portraying the Queen as an experienced monarch who served the nation for 70 years. Below her portrait you can see a wreath tied with ribbons and roses flowering from it. The design sees the largest variety in releases with 11 different weights of precious metals used. In silver proof we saw an unlimited run of the one ounce coin, 1500 5 ounces, 500 10 ounces and 300 1 kilogram coins too. In gold proof there was an unlimited run on the quarter ounce and the one ounce gold proofs, 500 2 ounces, 200 5 ounces, 100 10 ounces and 31 kilogram versions as well. There is also a one ounce platinum proof version which would again be minted up to demand. 
With so many of this range being minted to demand, it's taken some time for them to be created and delivered, with more to come over time. They were hugely popular though, with a queue of over 160,000 people at one point, waiting to get onto the Royal Mint website and make their purchases. We won't find out final mintages for some time though, but it'll be fascinating to see which were the best sellers and how that impacts on the prices for the coins in the future. Regardless of mintages and values though, this coin holds significance for numismatists being the first coins released to feature the portrait of King Charles III on the obverse, one of the more significant changes with the new monarch on the throne. The 50p coin now has been released into circulation as well, so you might just find your first one very soon, so keep your eyes peeled. An initial release of 4.9 million have been circulated through almost 5,000 post offices, fast tracking this coin into our general circulation. We saw a similar expedited release of other coins in the past too. It has been confirmed though that up to a limit of 9.6 million would be minted for circulation, so if the full quota is met then it'll end up being one of the more common coins which you will see in your change. The King's portrait will begin to appear more broadly on our coinage as well from the start of 2023, as up to the end of this year new coins have still been minted with Queen Elizabeth II on them as recently as this month on the 20 pence coins. As demand allows, each new circulating denomination going forward from next year will feature the new portrait of King Charles III though. As we have said many times before though, there will be no active removal of coins with the Queen's portrait on them though. Over time, with coins getting damaged or lost, there will be a gradual replacement, but it's not going to be the same as back in 2017, when the old round pound coin was removed from circulation entirely to be replaced with a new style of coin. In fact, before the UK went decimal in 1971, a number of monarchs appeared on our coinage all the way back to Queen Victoria, and they could all be found in circulation used alongside one another. It just happens that since the change in our currency, there's been no other monarch other than Queen Elizabeth II, so for many of us this will be a first and an exciting prospect. There are a number of multi-year spanning coin collections too, which from 2023 will cease to feature the portrait of the Queen and will change over to a new portrait of King Charles III. For instance, the 25 Years of Magic series, which has had two releases recently, with two left to round off the set in 2023. The Dumbledore and Hogwarts school designs will now be minted with King Charles III's portrait on the obverse, making it a rather fascinating set charting this change in our monarchs. Other sets such as the Royal Tudor Beasts and the British Monarch series too will in all probability change as well. Last week did see another memorial released, and potentially the last to commemorate the Queen's death for 2022. This set includes the memorial coins, but also the whole run of definitive coins, with a special privy mark on the obverse of those coins which feature the Queen on. The privy mark on these coins are the numbers 26 over the number 22, the years of the Queen's life from her birth in 1926 to her death in 2022. With the 2023 annual coin sets just around the corner, this memorial set makes for an interesting companion piece to that. With September 2023 marking the first anniversary since the death of our Queen, perhaps it's safe to assume that there will be a coin to mark that occasion. Now with a slot in the annual coin sets usually reserved for a £5 coin, could that be the one we see in there? Or will it be more themed on King Charles III becoming sovereign? Only time will tell on that one. I'd love to know in the comments which is your favourite coin from the Queen Elizabeth II memorial set, so do leave a comment on this video. Be sure as well to check out last Monday's video too, as this is the last week for you to enter our subscriber giveaway prize, which was announced in that video too. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well though, it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also catch us on Facebook and Instagram, where you'll see us post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok, we've got our shop and online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.